Hey guys, welcome back to more Rum Adventures. My name is Andrew Nichols and today I'm gonna do something which I consider to be fairly bizarre, which is I'm gonna make a daiquiri in minus two degree Amsterdam weather. So yeah, not used to weather like this, uh, certainly not when it comes to drinking outside. Hopefully you're somewhere a little bit more tropical. Uh, but yeah, as I said, the daiquiri, it, it has the holy trinity of ingredients when it comes to rum drinks. So if we look at, we've got our rum, we've got lime juice, we've got sugar. Take those three and build on them and you open up a whole new window to a whole range of different rum drinks. So it's a great starting point. When I'm testing bartenders, I always start off with a daiquiri because if you can't balance a daiquiri, you probably can't balance much more. So here we go. When you're at home, you probably, most people have probably got what we in the industry call a three-piece shaker for obvious reasons, okay? There's, whoops, three, three pieces to it. So we got this cap, a little bit with a strainer on it, and then of course the main part there. If you look at this one here, it's called a Boston shaker. You'll probably see a lot of your local bartenders using this, but a Boston shaker, if you have one of these, you're probably gonna need one of these as well. It's a little bit more equipment. So the average person at home may not have this. If you don't have either of those, then don't be afraid to use something just as simple as a jam jar, okay? Like super simple, you can whip up a drink at this, no problem, as long as you've got sturdy glass, whatever it may be. A friend of mine even uses a protein shake bottle. So there we go. Right, so we're gonna crack on with our three-piece shaker. And as I said, we're gonna start off with a bit of white rum. We're going for one here, which has got quite a nice bit of fruity funkiness to it. Again, in a bar, you'll probably see your bartender using something like this. It's a jigger, all right? So a jigger, we use it for measuring stuff. You may not have one at home. So if you don't, this is just a quarter cup measure. It holds 60 milliliters or two ounces. Super simple ratio for the daiquiri. Just go two parts rum, one part lime juice, and then half a part of sugar syrup. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do here. Two parts rum, so 60 mils or two ounces. Chuck that in. Where'd our cap go? Cap back on. A little bit of lime juice. Always go fresh for the lime juice, okay? Like you can get lime juice in those little bottles and stuff in the supermarkets. It's not the same. So we'll crack that open. And again, so we're just gonna go with half the amount of lime juice that we had to rum. So in this case, it's 50 milliliters or like one ounce. Chuck that in and then a two to one sugar syrup. So all that means is we've taken two parts sugar and dissolved it in one part water. And we're gonna add a quarter of this measure to this mixture as well. So there we go, two parts rum, one part lime juice, half a part of sugar syrup. Now we're gonna fill this up with ice. Again, if you don't have an ice scoop at home, just use a cup measure, okay? Very, very simple. And thankfully, because it's so cold here, none of this ice is melting. So the one positive thing, I guess, to being a minus two. All right. So we're gonna fill this up with ice. There we are. And normally at this point as well, if you're somewhere nice and warm, like I'd love to be right now, then you're gonna chill your glass down with a bit of ice too. I don't need to today because I'm in a giant outdoor freezer and we're gonna give this a nice good shake. So shake it nice and hard. Grab this, and I will grab, just because I wanna be fancy pants, I'm just gonna grab a little fine strainer to catch any bits of ice that may come through. Chuck that out. See, we've got a nice frosting on the outside of our shaker there. That's because we shook it super hard, nice and fast. It's not hard and fast, it's just a wobble. Put that aside. A lot of people love to put a fancy little garnish on a daiquiri. I don't think it needs it. I think it's super simple drink. There's simplicity to the way it is. If you wanna put a little garnish on the side of that, like a wheel or a wedge, go for it. I personally don't think it needs it. I think that's beautiful. It's very cold outside, but hey, it's daiquiris. And that is delicious. We'll see you next time.